course. Very much sorry. Very much sorry. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I thought. So um, it is really, really wonderful to see you guys. We were going to um, do. I don't. Is that Gee, somebody needs you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were going to do a ceremonial swearing in, but we don't have a speaker yet. Yeah. So um, I, uh, I think we can take the oath because um, I always take the oath. Um, so we'll do that, and uh, then I'll do it again after we have a speaker sometime, hopefully in the next two years, uh, during the session of Congress. But I really, I really just want to thank you guys all so much. Um, how about we start with the oath, which is one of my incredibly uh, most favorite things to do. I was giving the oath yesterday in New Jersey to so many people. So let's start with the oath. And then I'll give you a couple hours of speeches that I have here. You guys know, I just love to go on and on. And, uh, and then I'll say just a couple words. So without further ado, Jill, do you want to do the honors? Maggie, do you want to hold the Constitution? No, Constitution would you like? Um, they're both beautiful. Which is double. OK, there's the Constitution. Merit, uh, does, do we have the? Can I ask you my question? So then. Um, Wait, so somebody has it already won, they just keep tying? Right, they keep, yeah. We're oh, they just voting. kept tying. They're tied <laughs> they right They need now. the majority. Oh, wait, yeah. but they're tied right now. They're oh, not, they just, nobody's gotten the majority of them. Wait, what does the majority mean? We all have the same question. Yeah. Okay. What does the majority mean? No Republicans need to Okay. Oh, can you read this? Oh, wait, read this. Read that and then ask her to repeat after you, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise my right hand. All right, you ready, Mayor? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay, repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. Allegiance to the same. <laughs> that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation of purpose of, of evasion. evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of office. And I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of my office on which I am about to enter, enter, so help me God. On which I am about to enter, so help me God. and get the formal oath done um, and then move on from there. But I, uh, as, as some of you may know, if you're following any of my social media, I don't pull out the pink suit <laughs> just any day. Um, but I have such a great feeling of optimism as we go into the 118th Congress. The results that I think we saw in these elections show that in two short years, and this is an applause line, we will be back in the majority. Yay! And I think, as we've watched on the floor of the House, our suspicions have proven to be true. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to see a, a strong ability to govern coming from the Republicans in Congress. So what does that mean? Why do I feel optimistic? Because I can tell you that it has been my goal and job in Congress to build broad coalitions of people around the issues that we care about in New Jersey. So that's not going to stop. I sit on the House Armed Services Committee. The National Defense Authorization Act is a must-pass piece of legislation. And when I say must-pass, that, that is a, a deeply held belief 
in the Republican conference. So that is a piece of legislation where we do things like make sure we invest in the 11th district. One of our largest economic contributors is Picatinny Arsenal. We invest in our manufacturing base there. We invest in our technical schools like NJIT and Stevens. We make sure that we have a strong economy in New Jersey, largely through the National Defense Authorization Act. We also, I also, have been working incredibly hard because if we want to meet our environmental goals, which we in New Jersey know how important that is, if we want to meet those environmental goals, we're going to have to get our military to cut their carbon use. There's simply no way around it. And so when I looked around the caucus, I thought, you know, microplastics in the water drive me insane. But guess what? They drive half the caucus insane. And there's a lot of people working on that. When I think of the trash islands in the Pacific, I, my head explodes. But you guys might have noticed New Jersey's on the Atlantic Ocean, right? So we're where can we really in the 11th district make a difference to our environment? And that's by making sure our military cuts carbon emissions. And that's something that yours truly can really work hard. And we've already made some inroads into that. And guess what? Guess who else wants to cut carbon emissions? Our military. Many right. of them are environmentalists, but they also don't want to carry heavy fuel across the South Pacific. They want to use new power and new energy. And you might have noticed it was probably hard to escape, but I have a couple daughters. <laughs> Maybe you know where this is going. I care deeply, deeply, deeply about reproductive rights, as do people in New Jersey. <laughs> and our state legislature is one of the first in the nation to start to work hard to make sure we protect rights in New Jersey, and I'm going to be working hard here on Capitol Hill to make sure we do everything we can to protect rights across the nation. So these are some of the things I'm going to be working on and beyond. Making sure Title IX lives up to its promise. Making sure that some of our, our new, we just, I just had the, a real pleasure of meeting one of the newest players for New Jersey Gotham, one of the best women's forwards in the entire world. I should get out and see them play. <laughs> and so we're going to be working hard to make sure that as the women have fought for equal pay in soccer, they get paid equally, to make sure that the women in the final four get the same respect that they deserve as the men in the final four, and to make sure that women on campuses all over the country don't have to face sexual assault and sexual abuse. So these are some of the things. coalitions that I'm going to be building and if they don't get done these are some of the reasons that we're going to take back the majority in 2024 yeah. Yeah. so from the bottom of my heart and I know it's hot in here so I'm going to wrap it up I just want to thank every single one of you this has been an incredible journey the last couple of years have not been the most fun couple of years I think many of us have experienced mm. But I'm not wearing my pink suit for nothing, <laughs> right? We have such an opportunity coming for us in the future, the next two years. All the legislation we've passed, all the work we've been doing for the last four years is going to come to fruition now as we lead people into the future, as we protect the rights for ourselves and our children, as we make sure that the 11th District of New Jersey is strong. And so once again, thank you. I see so many faces that have been with me from the start. I can't thank you enough. I see so many faces of people that have knocked on doors, so many faces of, of mayors that I have harassed who knocked on door doors. And I can't thank you enough. I really can't thank you enough. You truly delivered New Jersey 11. And I, for one, am incredibly grateful. And I look forward to working with all of you over the next Congress. Thank you so much. And thank you.